is it a attack per se? It's not a complicated error. It's technically not a very complicated attack. It is search engine poisoning. Search engine result the poisoning. Right? You are feeding a certain data. That data is resulting to a big attack. Right? Let me give you another perspective. They say hackers don't hack the technology. It may be contradictory for you to understand. Let me repeat. Hackers don't hack the technology. They hack the people, those who use the technology. Right? right? So we have to be very clear in understanding that. Right? They also say if I do something really good, right? Uh, say I can do, uh, I can type a hundred words in one minute. If I give the same thing to the computer, it can do 100 times faster, right? It can do 100 times faster, good thing, and also the bad thing 100 times worse, right? That, that, that is a catch that we have to understand, right? See, from the time we started this particular session, say 20 minutes now, right? How many of you would believe that there are already cyber attacks that are happening on us on hitting our iPads or mobile devices right now. Just that we don't know. They say ignorance is a bliss. Do we really understand that? Right? I mean, when you sit on a car or a bike, right? On the mirror, there's a small text there. Have you read that? It says objects in the mirror are closer than they appear. Yes or no? Let me reiterate this, rephrase this. Cyber attacks are more closer than they actually appear. Yeah. You don't even realize how close you were to an attack. Let me tell you, say there are so many people here. What if I tell you with certainty that at least 80 to 85 percent of you have already got compromised, already got hacked? No, I'm not exaggerating. How many of you use Windows machines? Stop using them. Please stop using them. How many use Linux machines? Again, please stop using them. How many Mac users? Okay, Android users? Stop using them. Google Chrome users? Again, stop using them. This is like what Sir is saying, right? It's like a double edged sword. Right? When you see a, this side sword, this side sword, you touch the side, you get cut. You touch this side also, you get cut. You have to know, you should have read the manual of how to use it before you handle it. Right? Today technology is like that. Right? Like what Sir said about the Amazon example. Let me pull out a very interesting example. Who is the world's most powerful person? We usually say from people from India, they are Narendra Modi. Let's go to international standards. It's usually North American president. Yes or no? Who was the president the previous tenure? Huh? Sorry? Donald Trump, right? Let me ask you this. How many of you are aware that a AI based technology was used by a company called Cambridge Analytica, right? For influencing people's decision making process and make someone the president of the country. Can you just believe what is happening? Technology is influencing our lives in ways we don't know and can't even imagine, right? Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe for more tech insights on cybersecurity.